All right, uh, we're going to start because of the load shedding that's starting at seven o'clock. So I, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me well, Billy? All right. First of all, I want to start with just to say thank you. Uh, when this idea came to the forefront and I started to talk to people, the response were overwhelming. And a lot of people can't be here tonight. And we're focusing on the locals and then we're also going to the rest of South Africa and, and see what we can do to tackle this. Um, when you look at our logo that we put on the WhatsApp group today, you will see our slogan is that education is the link to the future. And being in education, that's my heart. And um, through the years, I've always looked at ways that we can do something for education. And um, but also do something different than the norm. And uh, at the end of last year, um, okay, before I, before I get there, I just want to welcome you to the launch of this event. Thank you, Rich and Eri, that's taking the social marketing campaign for us forward and for all their ideas because I really don't have a clue what I am doing. I could not have an idea what I'm doing. So please help me, all right? Um, but uh, thank you for the overwhelming response. Um, this is a new event that we're planning for to happen every year. It's not, not just a one sort thing. And my heart is really that, that it will increase and improve and that it will grow. Um, just for those of you that don't know me and seeing that I'm, I, that I'm on TV here, yeah, is, my name is Fanny Vermark and um, I'm principal here at Farrell School. And my heart is school, education, children. But also the last few years, together with my wife, I've been trying to cycle. Uh, sometimes it's okay and sometimes not so successful. But I'm trying to, co to, to combine it. Um, just to let you know, while I'm busy, they will bring some pizzas in here that you can share and that you, that you can eat. So let me start with where did this idea come from? The end of last year, I met a guy in East London, maybe some of you know him, his name is Mike Boy. He's an enthusiastic cyclist, MTB cyclist. And I, I, I got in contact with him via Facebook and we started to talk and I asked him how they do what they are doing. And he said, what they are doing, they have an annual uh, cycling event from East London to Queenstown. And uh, they've got about 25 cyclists involved, but all of them are old boys of, of schools in Queenstown area. And what I then do is over a period of two days, cycling from East London to Queenstown, each of these cyclists must get sponsorship each year of 5,000 Rand. So they go out to their friends and families and businesses and they collect sponsorship. And then they ride for a few schools in the area. And on that day, they have fun. It's a ride, it's not a race. Over two days, about 180 kilometers. And then afterwards, they donate the, the funds that they've raised to those schools for their needs. So I said to Mike, I love the idea. Um, uh, can we do it? And he said, go for it. Um, and we chatted and how we can do it and came back and I spoke to a few people here, Gerike and Prof. Jan and so on and so on, and shared with them the idea. And uh, the one problem is we don't have old boys. Because Faros is only eight years young, so there's no old students that can be my age and cycling. So I had to think and change it a little bit. So how will we do it? We are looking for 25 enthusiastic MTB cyclists, 25 to start with. Um, and to each, in a period of five months from now to the end of September, collect sponsorships from friends and family and businesses, etc., so that we can get all the funds together. And then th from those funds, we bless some beneficiaries in our community. I'll get to them now. So that's the plan. And that's how we want to do it. Um, so when you look at it, it will give us 125,000 rand. I don't even want to think of going less. That's the goal. That's what we're going to do. Um, a fifth of that will cover our costs. 
that's where we have the bala, um, and that's our accommodation, the meals, a cycle shirt. We're going to design a unique cycle shirt for us, and all the social media marketing that we have to do. To cover those costs will be about a fifth, and the rest we will then use towards our beneficiaries. <laughs> That's Prof. Jan. Okay. So why do we do it? Why do I want to do it? At first, I was just thinking of Pharos. But you know, when you cycle and God talks to you, you've got another plan. And the plan that came forward was, we are connected to a few uh, ministries and organizations in town that we serve during the year, community service. And we have a relationship with them. So we are going to do it for all these beneficiaries. And then at the end, we're going to split it between all of us. And those beneficiaries are Joshua Project, there's Karen, there's Karen, you like wife of Kena. Beats and Books, Jonathan, there's Jonathan and his lovely wife, they're involved also in the ministry. Green Box is not here this evening, that's uh, Catherine, she's in St. Francis Bay, Green Box. Then J Bay Animal Sanctuary, here's Annelise, representing them. Then there's a public school on Pabala, Botkar Public School, a farm school that we're going, also going to bless. Then there's Koha Cycle Pass. We want to bless uh, Gerike, the club, the local club also. Get those guys involved for them also to do what they want to. And then there's Taros in Honky. Therese and Michelle is here. So why do we do it? We do it so that we can help these beneficiaries. And of course, Faros, our school. There's Krista. She's representing us because I'm not there. Okay. So why do we do it? We want to raise funds for them because they have also needs, and they are all connected somehow in education. So we, let's say we make 100,000 rand. Then we will divide it between those seven, eight beneficiaries for them to use for their educational needs, for facilities, for fees, for food, etc., etc. That's why we do it. The third uh, part of our event is the local business. So in our short existence in Jeffrey's Bay, we've made good friends um, with people like Pabala, Smart Security, Anne and Richard are there at the back, uh, Mentor Skral, Willi, you're going to cycle. But uh, Echo Rabbe, Neil's not here, um, uh, Tina's not here from True Tech, Spar, uh, Renier Slabet and Hannes Peters, attorneys, local attorneys, Ninas, Marcella is here from Renko and Lan. So we've made friends with a lot of people as a school. So the third leg is that I'm approaching businesses to get on board and say, help us, support us. And also through our marketing campaign, we will market the businesses also, because that's our purpose. So by which means can we get fi finances? There's a few ways. The primary way is that Fani must get 5,000 rand. So my mom, my schoonpa, my schoonma, my family, my ooms, my tannies, my kinders, allemaal. For all my kinders, my children. Okay. Um, so I'm going to approach them. Hanley is also going to cycle, so that gives us 10,000 rand. So if you, if you are a, like Jan and Debbie that's here, and I think Stephen, where's Stephen? <laughs> Husband and wife that's here. That's 10,000 rand. But you're going to do it. You're going to make it. So, so, so we must collect that sponsorship. And we've got five months to do it. It's a long time. Five months. Secondly, we're going to use online platforms like Backabuddy. You know those types of online platforms so that you can approach someone that's sitting in England or sitting somewhere in South Africa or overseas. Thirdly, we're going to ask, we're asking the beneficiaries, we as beneficiaries, to spread the word, make an awareness, and get people out there to sponsor our cyclists. And then fourth is to, is to approach local business. Like, for example, Tina, when I spoke to her this afternoon, she said she's A1 and she's going to go and she's supporting us, and we trust that more of the local businesses will, will climb on board. The route, the cycle route, 
my good friend, Prof. Jan Duplessis, that's uh, having a pizza there. Uh, most of you know him. Uh, he's going to work out a route for us for the two days. We're leaving here on the 30th of September, early in the morning. We hope to have a good party here when we leave. Travel here into the mountains. Don't know the route, but and then we will overnight at Pabala. And uh, the next day, the Sunday on the 1st of October, we will return back to here to be here not too late. The most important thing for, for Prof. Jan is that it must be a, a ride and not a race. So we are doing it for the fun. We are doing it to have fun together. We are doing it for a specific purpose. So Prof. Jan must see to, to that that it's not a too difficult type of route that we're going to do. All right, so that's going to be, and we will make that public as we, as we, as we go along. Um, then marketing and social, the media campaign. Already Rigen Eide is here from Red Photography. They will, from now on a weekly basis, run it for us. Then we have Yulandi. She's from ECS Customized Solutions. That's also going to help us with the logos and websites and things. But I think the most important thing for us is, is, is not so much what happens on that day, but from now to September. Because what I've seen over the years, the first month we go crazy. We're all over the place. And then after a month, you don't hear about us. So I'm asking you, if you climb on board and join us, that you please, 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 we've got five months that we have to run this thing. And we must think outside Jeffrey's Bay, not just Jeffrey's Bay or the Koha, but outside to spread the word and to get people to support us. All right. Before we go this evening, we need to take photographs of each of you individually. If you're a husband and wife together, maybe like Theresa and Michelle together. Why? Because what they also do in the uh, East London event, they use those photos to make it public on social media. For example, Willie, they will take you a nice photo of you, who you are, and uh, with your everything and except, and then I post Willy on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or somewhere, and they say, let's support Willy for this is the course. So they use the faces of the people to, uh, on social media. So please, before you go this evening, Rich is going to get us a place where we can take a photograph. Maybe all the beneficiaries together, those that are here for, to become supporters, like Anna and Richard, you can go maybe together, Marcella, you and Lauren, so that when we go forward with these things, we have your photo and we don't have to go and look for your photo. We'll find you and make an appointment. And for the cyclists, it's important that we take your photos tonight so that when you support us, that you are available. Surya and Willem, they are going to start to cycle tonight. <laughs> Surya and Willem are going to start to cycle tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they are also here to support us. So please, uh, uh, you see these two, these two lovely people here. They are going to support us. So we must take photos of them also, Rich, please, all of them. Um, so yeah, from my side, that's it. What we need is 25 cyclists for a good cause to raise funds for organizations and ministries in our town that's connected to education. And we want to make it an annual event on the Koha calendar. Monique is also here, sorry Monique, from the Koha municipality and representing them and also taking hands with us. So, and then we need our sponsors and our beneficiaries. All right, so that's it from me. I want to thank you again for the support. The pizzas are coming out. Are there any questions? Questions? Sorry, just want to ask how many cyclists do we currently have at the moment? Positive responses is almost 20 at the moment. But we haven't gone further than Kauha basically. 
I've, I've sent it to a few people up, up in Gauteng. And I'm sure if you, if you send it out to someone there, it will start to spread. Why 25? Because that's the accommodation that we can cope with at the moment. If Vernig is nice and kind to us, we can make it 30. Or if the response is so huge, we can, we can increase it. But, but uh, I'm taking the model they have in East London for a start. They are now in their ninth year. So it's their ninth year that they've done it now. Um, so it's a great success over there. And we really want to see it here also, that it becomes an annual event. The end of the third term, just before the holidays start, every year we will have this fun event for our beneficiaries. Praise the Lord. That's good. No questions. <laughs> Thank you. So from tomorrow, we will start to send other things on the, and I'll communicate with each one of you. Just get your commitment um, that you say, Ray, yes, we're going to do it. And then we'll start to, to use social media to get the word out there. All right. So thank you again for the positive and the huge res response that we've received so far. All right.